Before any IFR flight, it's imperative to conduct a thorough pre-flight briefing. This is where you gather all the information needed to plan your flight, including weather, no TAMs or notice to air missions, and any obstacles or restrictions along your route. This is your chance to make sure everything is in place before takeoff. First, I like to check the weather along the route by overlaying different weather layers over the map in foreflight to get a general idea of what the weather is doing. Next, we can check METARs and TAFs at both our departure and destination airports as well as any alternates. We're looking for IFR conditions, visibility, and cloud cover that might impact our route. Next, we can review any NOTAMs for important updates at our departure, destination, and alternate airports. This could include runway closures, changes to instrument procedures, or airspace restrictions, for example. We then make sure our selected alternate meets the required minimums for weather and approach options in case we need to divert. For Part 91 flights, you're required to file an alternate airport unless the weather at your destination meets certain conditions. This is known as the 1-2-3 rule. If from one hour before to one hour after your estimated arrival, the weather at your destination airport is forecast to have a 2,000-foot ceiling or higher and 3 miles visibility, you don't need an alternate. If you do need an alternate, then the alternate airport must have weather forecasted to allow for at least 600-foot ceilings and 2 miles visibility for precision approaches or 800-foot ceilings and two miles visibility for non-precision approaches. Then we move on to fuel requirements. When flying IFR Part 91, the FAA requires you to carry enough fuel to reach your destination, fly to your alternate if required, and then continue flying for at least 45 minutes at normal cruising speed. If an alternate isn't required, you still need enough fuel to reach your destination and fly for an additional 45 minutes. These are bare minimums and I recommend carrying more than that. One common mistake is not thoroughly reviewing NOTAMs, which could lead to unexpected surprises during your flight. Another mistake is overlooking fuel calculations, especially when considering possible alternate airports. Always double check these details. By completing a thorough pre-flight briefing, you'll be confident that you've planned for every aspect of your flight. Want to move forward in your IFR journey? Join the priority waitlist for more resources coming up in the future to help you improve your skills and move your aviation career off the ground. Send an email with the subject, join the waitlist, to chicksufyofficial at gmail.com to get started.